Hey what's up guys Praful here welcome back thanks for joining in today is 15th of September today is Wednesday the one day before the expiry and uh, since the risk reward is in the favor of credit strategies so I've decided to play the markets today in intraday positions so I do have one of my calendar spreads which is a 17300 and 17500 classic calendar and um, it's still cost to cost because like since I took the calendar the VIX has completely collapsed almost 5% VIX collapse ho gaya and because of which it's very natural for the calendars to start giving a loss. So coming back to the intraday positions this is the intraday positions all my calls are at 17500 and uh, half of my puts are at 17250 and half of my puts are at 17. 300 uh, camera charge karna bhool gaya tha and uh, now i've kept it for charging maybe for the next um, coming clips so i think i'll be able to use the camera and uh, abhi seeing kaisa hai <coughs> the call side ivs are bit on the higher side because at the open the call side ivs had completely thrashed Matlab, ekdam calls ko pale diye the starting mein and uh, once we had an up move so these calls are now spiking a little itna zyada bhi nahi hai thoda matlab call side iv spike ho raha hai and the strength is mostly coming from reliance and hdfc it is looking weak bank nifty which was looking weak and uh, even now bank nifty is kind of picking up strength from the s1 levels so jo bhi hone do once this starts to uh, let's say reach 20 or something then i'm going to shift all my 17,250 puts to 17,300. So, my puts 17,300. And from there, it will be a 200 point strangle, 17,300 and 17,500. And if at all we breach this level, 17,440 levels, if we breach intraday, mein, then most probably I'll take an exit or I'll shift the 17,500 calls to 17,550 or I'll short deep in the money put option. Maybe I'll short 17. 450 put option or something so that again like that completely depends on when this happens when the breakout happens and at that point what will be the premiums so kafi zyada cheezon pe matlab depend karta hai as of now the position is pretty much in control and i'll keep you guys posted all right did a quick adjustment so all my 17250 puts were initially shifted to 17300 and out of that 25 percent of my puts got shifted to 17350 so why I did that is I still feel that the calls are trading at an extremely cheaper price and that is this cheap price of the calls is basically based on the fact that the market participants are not expecting this 17430 levels to be breached. If the intraday may 17430 levels breach, even then the market participants are not expecting the expiry to happen somewhere above 17500 because of that these calls are pretty cheap theek hai sab log aake isko short kar rahe but the moment this gets breached theek hai ek r1 breach hone do ya ye breach hone do from whatever that 17.718 rupees it will suddenly spike up to 24 24 25 tak bhi easily ja sakta hai aaram se ja sakta hai to in that case this 17300 puts they won't dk much and this DK will start to kick in only after 12 o'clock. <coughs> 12 o'clock ke baad hi, iska DK kick in hona shuru karta hai. But at the same time, what I've done is, since my quantity split is in the ratio of 25 to 30, 25 and 75, matlab, 17,350 puts mein 25% 25 quanti, 25 quantity hai, and 17,300 pe 75% quantity hai, what that allows me is to be a bit more flexible on the call side. Agar call said, agar ye 22, 23 tak bhi jata hai, even then I can hold on to this position and wait for this level to actually be breached. Agar ye level breach hone tak mein wait karunga, then probably agar breach ho jata hai, to then I'll take a huge, a big hit because like I'll be exiting during the times when everyone is exiting the 17500 calls. But us point of time pe mujhe aise cheez pe mujhe fasna nahi chahiye tha that's why i wanted a bit of buffer that's why i shifted all some of my puts to 17350 agar market ye breach kar deta hai this ea level ko take out karna hai market ko then these 17350 puts will decay a lot in value to isse mujhe kafi zyada ek uh, 6 7 points cushioning isse mil jata hai and isse around 3 4 points mil jata hai so i will be definitely i will be you know in negative mtm but that will be manageable 
All right, my risk appetite for the day is 20,000. So you ask why? Praful, Matlab, Wednesday pe to, usually uh, the risk reward is in the favor of credit strategies and you are doing credit strategies and still then like why is your risk appetite very less? So that is mainly because of my track record on Wednesdays. So Wednesdays have been proven to be a loss making days for I don't know past two, two and a half months. I think like past two and a half months out of eight or nine Wednesdays, I have made money only on one Wednesday and remaining on all other Wednesdays, like I have book losses. That's partly because of the shitty premiums and partly it's because of the volatility that we see one day prior to expiry. So considering all that, so my risk appetite for the day is 20k, that is five points on the current sizing. And my funds we matlab mein zyada use nahi kiya hu. Some of the funds is blocked for my positional trades and um, I could have taken around 5,500, 6,000 quantity, but I'm still playing with 4,000 quantity. That is because like, I still have, you know, an option to add on to these positions. If at all, like we start making some erratic moves and the premium starts spiking left and right. So because of which I'm kind of sizing it slightly on the lower side. So that's about it. Uh, is sizing pe agar five point drawdown hota hai, then probably I'll call it a day and I'll be trailing it for every one point. All right, uh, market gave a breakout from almost a two weeks consolidation level se upper breakout de chuka hai. And now it has retested and now it is kind of heading higher. When the market went here, I was looking at almost 10k, 11k of loss. But um, as I decided, I would cut my position once I reach 20k of mark to market. But I accordingly reduced my risk on the call side. 17500 calls pe jo quantity thai, to me dheere dheere karke 17550 pe mene sare shift kar liya. Now, yaha pe ek question aati hai ki why did I not shift my puts higher and why I only shifted the calls higher? Kyunki, what was happening is, even though the market was heading higher and this call, 17500 ka call jo hai, even though it was at 12 rupees at the open and it shot up to 30 rupees, there was no significant increase in India VIX. Iska matlab kya hai? The options were not bought at a hurry. Matlab, it was not a short covering rally, it was a normal movement of the market. Jab market normal movement hota hai, then there is a possibility of either going sideways or a profit booking session. ठीक है उस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम पे जो भी लोग लॉन्ग ऑप्शंस जाते हैं टुवर्ड्स द कॉल साइड व्हेन द मार्केट स्टार्ट्स रिवर्सिंग दे विल जस्ट डंप देम बैक तो उस पॉइंट पे एक कॉल का ऑप्शंस जो है काफी ज्यादा कम हो जाता है बट इफ एट ऑल इट्स अ शॉर्ट कवरिंग रैली मार्केट ऐसे नहीं जाता लाइक like काफी तेजी से ऊपर जा सकता है सो दैट इज व्हाट माय एनालॉजी वाज but at the same time, I didn't want to sit on a huge mark to market fluctuations. That's why I have shifted in 17,550, I mean almost 75% of the calls. Ko shift kar liya. So, I can live with this position even till the day's high is breached or even till R1 is breached. Dono time, dono side tak main is point tak. I'll mark the zones for you. So, this zone tak. Ye. ये पूरे जोन तक मैं सेम पोजीशन को मैं होल्ड कर सकता हूं विदाउट एनी मच ऑफ अ हेडेक ऑलराइट टाइम इज 120 एंड जस्ट लाइक यू नो ऑल अदर एक्सपायरीज एंड जस्ट अ डे बिफोर एक्सपायरी निफ्टी आईटी हमेशा उसका नौटंकी रहता ही है एंड निफ्टी आईटी को यूज करके मार्केट को ऊपर पुश किया गया है एंड या आई वाज होल्डिंग ऑन टू दीस 17500 कॉल्स फॉर एज लॉन्ग एज आई कुड so to be honest, like I held on to them for pretty long. Kafi hold kiyatha. It reached such a point that even me, even I had to give up and say, like, I'm gonna close it. Yeah, I bought them back at 42. Yeah, 42, 43 pay close kiya. And the open calendar position, which I had, even that I had to square up at uh, just like minor 1k profit is a cost to cost matlab square up karna pada. Overall, I'm slightly down ठीक है इतना down नहीं गया था and uh, whatever stop loss levels I had mentioned we touched that level ठीक है but before I could exit तो मैंने decide किया था कि हाँ मेरा stop loss level touch हो गया मैं exit करूँगा but जैसे मैं exit करना चाह रहा था then the option premiums just you know came down came crashing down so that is when I thought okay let's let's wait for a moment 
but at any point like if i lose another two points on a, on this triangle then probably i'm going to call it a day so total ye agar 15k touch hota hai so i'm going to just call it a day and uh, no more trades after that all right <coughs> time is 145 and uh, it's just a restless up move just the strength is coming from all across the sector so bank nifty nifty it everything is moving in tandem so what i've done like i've uh, kept all my puts at 17450 and i've split my calls at 17550 and 17600 17550 se bhi mere bahut mere thoda bahut risk off karna pada and i have shifted some of the calls to 17600 so now the idea is i let this 17550 call to expand to somewhere around 2930 jab 2930 tak pahunchega ye that is when i'm going to take this out completely and uh, shift it to 17600 so that would be my final adjustment and uske baad jab bhi main cost to cost agar pahunch jata hu to i'll exit the position so i am up by 13000 which is close to 3 points on the today's sizing so 3 points up hai so if at all i slide down by 3 points if the overall position gains by 3 points so that is when i am going to call it a day so not going to take a loss today so the worst thing that can happen is probably i'll just end up cost to cost so that will be the approach and um, if at all we see a rapid reversal kyunki abhi 145 ho gaya 2 o'clock ke baad koi institution aake ek rapid inst uh, rapid sell off kar liya then probably i'll wait for a higher low to get taken out that is this point ye jo point hai 17483 to if 17483 or at least like i want a 5 minute candle to be closed below 17500 to 17500 ke niche agar close de deta hai that is when i'll you know um, shift some of these puts to 17400 now there is no point in taking any additional credit because the straddle itself is worth the 17500 straddle itself is worth somewhere around 90 rupees so which is pretty cheap because sham tak this should not they should not decay less than 70 85 or 85 se niche nahi aana chahiye so i'm not expecting much of the profits from this and uh, similarly the strangle should also not give a lot of dk but uh, the only hope is that if at all we start heading lower and uh, you know if we close today somewhere around 17500 that is when a lot of these call side iv that will cool off and uh, we can we might benefit from it like we don't i don't know because just because like we have an up move today probably the wicks might shoot up and you know we can see a good amount of premiums towards the end of the day because a lot of people might carry long options also for tomorrow so it's kind of tricky because though it's a wednesday it's kind of a tricky but as we are seeing the india wicks shot up and now we can confidently say that any further up move is a result of a short covering rally and not a gradual up move because the wicks is spiking all right time is 250 and um, i waited for this consolidation and now that the market is again taking out the days high i don't want to see through the call side iv expansion so maine sare positions maine square up kar liya yeah it's a long exhausting day of adjustments constantly adjustment karna pada and even this 15600 call option i think it was trading at 2 rupees huh? was it trading at 2 rupees in the morning yep it was trading at 2 and a half 3 rupees okay it even uh, yeah it was trading at 2 and a half rupees and it's currently at around 16 rupees and at one point it even spiked up to 18 rupees so 1 is to 9 so ek option 1 is to 9 times bad gaya and uh, yeah pretty happy with how i managed my position 16k for the day yahan pe 600 yahan pe and algo mein it took a loss of around 500 rupees that to six lots pe che lot pe sirf 500 rupees ka loss liya hai and i must say that even the algo did pretty well and uh, yeah overall 16000 for the day and uh, honestly speaking like i couldn't have asked any better outcome than this because like you you guys know me as a very super self critical person matlab kuch bhi karunga main hamesha improvements ke liye dhoondta rehta hu and i i always say that ha i could have done better yahan pe ye kuch kar sakta tha wo kuch kar sakta tha but honestly today honestly speaking i'm pretty happy with how the position got managed and uh, because the reason is the all time high got breached theek hai when the global sentiments were not so great 
and everyone expecting some sort of a correction, the all time high got breached. ठीक है. उसके बाद we breached the seventeen thousand five hundred level, which again was a key level, both in terms of psychological level because it's a round number as well as it was the highest open interest on the call side. So we breached both of these things. And we had a one-way runaway kind of a rally, but in spite of that, we captured close to around four points DK. I mean, couldn't have ha couldn't have asked for a better outcome because, like, I had tweet bhi dala tha subeh ki if I'm unlucky, I might be stopped out also because my risk appetite tha twenty thousand. Jaise subeh maine bataya tha. So yeah, all that said, it's sixteen uh, k for the day, and I hope you guys also had a good, you know, good trading session. And I'll see you guys for the. expiry trading tomorrow bye bye